No, I was 40 years old and never mentioned taking food to anybody in my entire life. But when John Williamson's wife mentioned Freegans to him, his life was about to change. This Noblesville husband and father of three couldn't believe his ears, learning about the group of people who are not homeless, but who get their food for free out of trash cans. And I thought to myself, are you kidding me? Williamson said he thought there had to be a better use for all that food thrown in the trash, and he found it. In 2007, he founded Food Rescue, taking surplus food from restaurants and delivering it to food pantries. He said one Panera Bread in Noblesville was the first business to donate its extra food once a week. And uh, suddenly that turned into twice a week and three times a week. And before we knew it, we were picking up at several different places uh, around the city. Congratulations, John Williamson. You are our Jefferson Award winner. <laughs> He's just a good person. He has something in his heart that has made him do this. Robin Gisone is one of the Little Caesars franchise owners who soon jumped on board the food rescue program. It's only good for a certain period of time and if we don't sell that product, it goes in the trash. And so it kind of makes you sick after a while when you see what, what you're throwing away. We live in the richest county around and we have 150 families that come in each Thursday to get food. So when we can hand a whole pizza to a mom that's going to feed her family that night, it is just, it's hard to explain how you feel. Working out of a corner of his master bedroom, Williamson grew Food Rescue to include more cities, more businesses, more people in need, and more volunteers who donate their time picking up surplus food and delivering it to more food pantries. And within a very short period of time, we were picking up a million dollars of retail food. And to date, we've picked up $10 million in retail food. He says that includes more than 100,000 Little Caesars pizzas a year. You don't really understand the impact until you see the benefit, till you see a little kid say, Mom, I'm full. It's just very meaningful that I get to every day wake up uh, and work on uh, helping children and families in need using surplus food. What started as a simple desire for change has turned into a full-time job and passion. And John now hopes other food companies will help him turn their trash into nourishing treasure. You know, I've always said this is kind of like a kite with a gale-forced wind behind it, and I've just got a hold of it, taking it wherever it takes me.